Hey, would you like to know why in the 1800s the testes of executed criminals were transplanted into aging men? Or why tree huggers should stay away from the machineal tree? Or how pumpkin seeds were made into a sleep remedy? Is it possible that pistachios can raise more than just hopes for men with problems uh, down there? What are endocrine disruptors? Why is Dr. Oz wrong about red palm oil and about almost everything else? There are fascinating stories behind each of these questions, and the answers can be found in Monkeys, Myths, and Molecules, including the answer to the question of, why this curious title? Molecules, sure, everything in life depends on them. Myths, yeah, we're awash in those. I'm sure you've heard about Popeye and spinach and iron. Yep, it's a myth, and it's in the book or how Thomas Crapper invented the flush toilet. No, he didn't. But why monkeys? Because they are the link between myths and molecules. One of the most significant discoveries in chemistry was how atoms joined together to form molecules. Whether it's drug discovery, a new wrinkle cream, or altering DNA, chemists need to know the structure of the molecules they're working with. And that is where monkeys come in. Many chemistry texts feature a picture of six monkeys assembled in a ring, supposedly describing a dream that August Kekulé had in 1865 about how six carbon atoms joined together in a ring to form benzene. Well, Kekulé was right about the bonding, and he laid the foundation to the understanding of molecular structure, but the fact is that he never mentioned monkeys. He did talk about a snake biting its tail. The monkey drawing appeared in a whimsical account of Kekulé's discovery, the imagination of a cartoonist. But many texts have uncritically reproduced the myth of the monkeys. Well, now you know better. You know the link between monkeys, myths, and molecules. Of course, the book contains much more than such monkey business. You will learn why apples should be eaten with the peel, why you should wash cantaloupes before cutting them, why cats love to rub against your leg, how genetic modification can deliver a healthier tomato with the insertion of a gene from the snapdragon flower. It goes without saying that no book of mine would be complete without hearing from the quacks. Yes, they are everywhere. The homeopaths make an appearance with their nonsense of warding off mosquitoes with non-existent molecules. How could we leave out the food babe, who is a constant source of irritation and amusement with her particular brand of nonsense? No, contrary to her claim, there is no beaver butt extract in ice cream. Then there are the naughty problems to sort out, like cholesterol, sugar, saturated fats, flame retardants, smart meters, plastic components such as bisphenol A and the phthalates. Real naughty problems. But you know what? With an understanding of molecules, we can separate myth from fact and make sure we unravel any monkey business.